I'm at the ancient fish market of Bruges. For centuries, people used to come here to buy their fresh fish. Sustainable, of course, ecological as well. And we see the same trend in the food industry today. People want sustainable and locally produced food, vegetables, meat. But what about fish? Can you talk about local fish? That's the question, of course, because if a fish swims freely in our Belgian seas, is it local? Well, I aim to find out today during my journey. I've come to Ostend, also known as the queen of coastal cities right here in Belgium, to taste a very exquisite, exclusive and rare oyster. It's called L'Ostendaise and is bred and harvested right here in the Spuikom near Ostende. Benoit, good morning. Ah, good morning, Ben. I'm here to hunt for oysters with you. <laughs> Benoit is the only oyster farmer right here at the Belgian coast. Am I correct? That's true, yes. So what we're seeing yeah. right here are all oysters. Yeah. Can you put this one in the water, please? So okay. put it in, a, in the hole? In the hole. Okay. Yes, I go down. <laughs> anyway. So I thought these were growing on the, on the bottom, on the soil. No, 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 no. On the surface, they have the sun, mm -hmm. so the water warms up very quickly, yeah. and they have lots of algae, plankton, plankton, to make the, sure that the oyster grows well. Why this spot in Austin? Because the Spekom, it's seawater, apart from the sea. So seawater and rain, it becomes a, a, a mixture, a mixture of, salt of, of and sweet water. Yes, yeah. so our oysters are not too salt. Okay. Uh, we say in Flemish, zilt. Yes. The taste is very specific for here. We will see if they are ready to consume, because full, full, wow. full, full of oysters. Little ones, big ones, so we have to sort it out. But wait a minute, let's, let's just have a look at this. I mean, this is a unique story right here, isn't it? Our company started in 95. We are the only one in Belgium. It's not always been easy, but uh, now we have a product who is very nice, very local here, Ostend, Bruges. Excellent water quality, you say? Let me just taste that. Well, my God, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> these are little ones. How long would it take for these to grow? Four years. How colder, how better. So the oyster strengthens itself and fattens up. Yeah. So we, we sorted out the good ones. All right, Benoit, so what do we have here? So you see, it's a very nice filled oyster. You can see the thickness already. It's fairly heavy too. Yeah, it's full of, of, of meat. So it's also very dark. It's, that's specific for our Ostendese, uh -huh. uh, the, the darkness of the oyster. Now these are being delivered to gastronomic restaurants here in the neighborhood, yeah, in the region. Yeah, the what do they do with region, it? Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes they, they use only the meat. Sometimes they, they serve it pure. Without lemon, without pepper, just go for it. In a grand premiere. Le moment suprême. The meaty, but not milky. The salty, but not too salt. So, like I said, like yeah. I said. The best of both worlds. <laughs> so, we've started our banquet right here. Let's see what else we can find in this beautiful North Sea. Welcome to Koksade Osdankerke, where I've come to witness the intangible cultural heritage of Flanders. We're going to fish for shrimp. <laughs> what we're looking at here is pure cultural history. I mean, people have been fishing like this on the Flanders coast for centuries. Into the water with their horses and then bring us a fine pack of shrimp. All right. So tell me again, Gunther, you've been doing this for how long now? With the horse, I do it about uh, eight years. Yeah? Yeah. Before uh, I pulling self the net, but it was too heavy. What do you, so what do you... I bought myself a, a horse. So you bought yourself a horse? Yeah. All right, excellent. I mean, this is history right here. Yeah, yeah. 
uh, it's since 500 years that monks are fishing with horses here yeah. in St. Titusbald in Coxede. All right. Not to catch fish or shrimps. They plant potatoes and all other stuff in the sea. But while they're doing that, they, they saw, oh, a fish and a shrimp. Mm, maybe we can eat that. The monks. Every time is the monks. Always they invented the beer. They invented shrimp fishing yeah, as yeah, well. Yeah. You know what they call this? They call this the caviar of the North Sea. This is a beauty. We're looking at two cultural heritages. This one, the Brabant's pooling horse, and again, the shrimp fishing. What is this about, fishing with these horses? Do you have to train them, and how does this work? Yeah, we train them ourselves, with a lot of patience, mm -hmm. love. Because they're scared of the waves, or yeah, the yeah. sea, maybe. Mostly, yes. Yeah. Uh, they don't know the sea, so you have to come step by step, every day. The best moment to fish for shrimp is when? October. Why? November. In okay. October, they are big, mm -hmm. and in November, they are the best. Why in Koekseide, Oostduinkerke, are they still practicing this fishing with horses? We have the excellent beach for that. Mm -hmm. No obstacles in the water, mm -hmm. just the sand, shrimps. Of course, you need that. And uh, a lot of fools who want to do that. <laughs> a lot of fools. Catch of the day! Hopla. In a moment, we're going to be cooking these. All we need is some water, some salt, and a lot of love. And you enjoy them a bit warm and crispy, right? With a real beer. With a real beer. Belgian beer. I can arrange that. Also, this is part of the uh, world heritage. So, what do you find so special about fishing with this horse? Though? Everything. Why? The nature, working with the horse. Yeah. You are free on the sea, in the water. It's calm. Oh, yeah. Do you know how to peel them? Teach me. So, <laughs> you hold the hand. You, you twist the tail. Yes. To the left and to the right. Let yeah. Give it a try. You pull the tail. You pull the tail. It doesn't get fresher than this. Here we go. It's still warm, mm -hmm. crispy. I'm sorry. Who wants to have a taste of my shrimp? Yeah. There you go. Everybody's fond of shrimp. This love for the North Sea and all its products has led to a lot of projects, of course. One of those projects is the North Sea Chefs. And one of the instigators of this project is this man right here, Philip Kreis of the Jonkman. Tell me, what is this North Sea Chefs about? It's a group of chefs and we are uh, promoting our lovely fish. Yes. Promoting, but also sustainable because the bycatch, you want to do something with that. Or the lesser known species of fish are important for you as well. Yes, the idea of uh, being selfish and eating what uh, we want, it's over. Yeah. We have to uh, look at nature, what nature gives. You get your fish in the morning and then you have to decide, okay, what I'm going to be doing with this. Is that it? I'm working with uh, catch of the day. It's yeah. as simple as that. My customers, they don't know what they're eating. So this is where the magic happens. Yes, here uh, we are with full gas uh, preparing service. We are making some stocks and we are using everything. Everything that is uh, entering here in the restaurant, we, we don't... Uh, don't let any go uh, to waste. No. Where did you get this idea? I was uh, on a trip in uh, Tokyo and there I saw how Japanese people are working, how chauvinist they are, the best they keep on the island, the rest uh, it's for export. And then I was comparing it with the quality that I have here in my restaurant here in Bruges. Mm. And I was embarrassed, I was ashamed. And then I was real, realizing myself on what are you doing? You're, you're, you're serving shit. Uh, it's not uh, the right uh, idea. Mm. I look more uh, local. And that was my start to work with more local fishes and uh, working with uh, also the unknown uh, species. Philip, you have two Michelin stars, 18 out of 20 on Go and Mio. Um, why would you say that our region is so important for gastronomy? 
we are blessed that we have nice farmers, we are blessed that we have nice uh, fishermen, but we are not uh, chauvinist enough. Why would you say we have the best fish? Because we have cold water, yeah. we have a lot of uh, current in the water, so the fish has to uh, swim, work to catch their food mm. and that gives structure and flavor. Mm. If you see that we have 50 different kinds of fishes and shellfish around the year, mm. that's a rich them. And that's also the reason why I started the group Nordsea Chefs. I asked uh, 15 uh, friends of me who has a restaurant with the ID to promote uh, Belgium uh, sustainable catched fish mm. and to promote the, the bycatch, the unknown fishes. Yeah. Oh. Philip, you've been an inspiration to me and I believe you can be an inspiration to other chefs as well. You work with local produce, excellent produce, to make the best experience for your customers. Thank you. Can I have one of those? Yes. All right. Thank you.